Okay, sorry. My stuff was doing crazy stuff. Okay, we good. Anyway, boom, boom, boom. I parked. I'm good. I could talk to y'all. So working as a single mom, I already talked a little bit about it, but I didn't even see you, Drayson Perkins. Hi. And Miss Tony. Hi. I couldn't even see y'all's thingy on there until I look back on the thing and I saw your comments so if you're writing comments I don't know how to fix that hi Desan hi everybody listen hello 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 now I feel better about getting abused by this shopping cart that really upset I don't like getting injured I don't like getting scars on my body like I don't like it takes too long to heal you know, like, when you get a dark mark, that takes 17 months for cocoa butter to do its thing. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, my skin is, like, dark, but it is light. And it's dark light. And it you can see, man, I do not like that. <sighs> it stresses me in this area. So working as a single mom, like I said, you take for granted the fact that you have people, you know, doing your paperwork for you and, you know, the inter-office email and the communication and all that other kind of stuff. Those prices, when you're, do when you're doing consulting and when you're doing contracted, contracted work and stuff like that, like and when you're responsible for taking care of all your own overhead and stuff, that can get really, really pricey and it can get really, really like tedious you know that's a good word to use for it i think tedious so it's not that you can't do it but just you know you, unless you have somebody to help you or something like that because i don't like doing that i don't like doing that kind of stuff anyway but you're gonna want to lay out for your employer on the front end you know what kind of your expectations are for the employment and what your kind of um you know hey i'm a parent hey bryce I'm a parent and if X, Y, and Z were to occur, then I need to do this, you know? And that's what you have to do kind of on the front end. And so if your child has some very special kind of needs, and I'm not just talking from the perspective of learning differences, I'm talking about like, you know, your child, you know, they're going through something and you guys are having some kind of stuff going on in your own personal lives, in your relationship, in the landscape of your lives, financially, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, on whatever level. You needing to have flexibility and autonomy on your job is very important. And you need to communicate and convey those things to your employer. And not to put all your business out, but just kind of outline, you know, hey, I am gonna be needing some time off to do X, Y, and Z. You know, um, my family is my number one priority and I'm gonna need some time to do this. Now, this is kind of, this perspective is really based on the fact that you even have the ability to go and talk to your employer like that. You know, even if you're an hourly employee, you still can communicate and convey your ability and your your like work availability and your needs to your employer you can still have conversations with them and many times if you haven't alienated them by having a bad attitude or something or being too mouthy or too vocal or having too much of an opinion or something they will work with you they'll work with you until you start talking too much and being too opinionated and wanting to do, and then they won't work with you anymore and i know that for a fact because hi i live that i've lived that so hello Derek. Uh 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 hello, hello. Derek in the house. Everybody didn't get a song, Derek. Here, I'll do I'll do a song for everybody who I see. I only see the song Bryce and Derek on here. Derek and uh uh and Bryce da da bum bum da da dun dun and the song da da dun bum bum ba dun 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 Alright, so there you go. I was told that I wasn't supposed to say hi to everybody that I see on here, but I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to say hi to y'all when I see y'all come on here because that's the kind of person I am and that's what it's going to be. So, hey, that's what it's going to be. Moving forward, working as a working as a single parent is just as a single mom is very difficult. If you guys have any questions for me, you can ask me questions. I feel as though it's just about communication though. If you communicate with your employer and tell them again, like I said, what your needs are, what the issues, then you can simply, 
like I said, just don't be a big mouth at work and just kind of keep it cute because you know you're going to have some time off. You need some time off. You need to be flexible with you. Or you need to not even have to ask somebody something. You need to work for yourself or have the kind of job, look for the kind of job that provides you with autonomy and flexibility. What are some jobs like that? Okay, case management. That's one. Or working in the schools with your kids. That's provided you don't have something that will prevent you from working in the schools, like the ability to be able to pass a background check or something like that. But those kind of jobs that are aligned with education are perfect because they will allow you and create the situation that you'll be able to drop your kid off at the school or around that time, and then you get off and be with your own kid. You see, those are the kind of jobs. Jobs in education, jobs in case management. Um, what else? Um, what other kind of jobs can you do? Boom, boom. Mm, 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 mm. Working late hours. Find some child care. Find some child care. Child care is such a hard thing. That's why, okay, so let me talk about that too. This is an unspoken understanding that a lot of people that are single moms, leveraging your support networks like your family. Right now, this is, a, this is what I'm saying. I just had a conversation with one of my friends from high school about you know play dates and stuff like that that she lives in virginia and i live here in michigan and i said man it would be really awesome if we lived there because i would want to talk my daughter to hang out with your daughter you know and she said yeah that would be really nice and we had this conversation she lets her daughter have play dates with other girls that we went to high school with their kids it's difficult because you don't when you it's like what i'm trying to say is that you need the people that you already knew for a really long time and your family we live right now, my family, my mother is from Toledo, Ohio. So the bulk of our family is in Toledo. And, you know, that's crazy. Because we're here in Michigan and we don't have family in this community. And that's really hard because it's just me, my mom, and my daughter. And my mother is ailing. You know, she's older and she has had some ailments, some health challenges. And so... It's difficult. Sometimes my mom's up for it. Sometimes she's not, you know. Sometimes she'd be like, hey, I'm, she's tired. She can't, you know. And that's understandable. I would never put her in a situation to make her watch my daughter or ask her to watch my daughter. And she's not up to it. You know what I'm saying? And when she does have Tegan, it's for such a limited time, you know. That's difficult. So I'm with my baby all the time. That's what it is. And that's okay because that's my kid and I had her. And that's what it's supposed to be. But what if you have to go to the grocery store? Thank God I went to the grocery store just now. My mom got my kid. You know what I mean? But I'm not the type of woman that just drops my daughter off. At play. I don't do that. I don't let my daughter. And I said in one of my other videos, on well, who's going to have sleepovers? I don't even believe in sleepovers. No. no, Ain't no <laughs> ain't no sleepovers. I just use that as an example for in terms of building community. I don't believe in that. I don't do that. My daughter came but I wasn't allowed to spend the night over people's house. No. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Like, you got to really know people. You know what I'm saying? You just don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. You know, you just can't let your kid go every place. You can't. And so, I'm just saying, you got to really, when you're thinking about, I'm going to live my life and I'm going to do my thing and I'm going to move. You can't move. You need a support network. You need to be around people that you know that you've been knowing because even all them ain't a hundred so you're gonna have to make sure that you be around your family so that your family can help you raise your child that's it you need your family and there was somebody else who said oh my gosh it's Tonky <laughs> another thing is that people don't take that they don't understand too is like if my mother did not live here in this place I would live with my mom I don't think it's nothing wrong with living with your mother and living with your family. Why is it a problem to live with your family? What's wrong with that? You would save so much money. You would save money. You would be able to build wealth. I just can't live in this particular place. But <laughs> I'm just saying I did for a really long time. And you need each other. People need one another. You need to have... Inter my mother lived in Greece before she moved. Her and my father, I think my, I think my parents were married in Greece. But they lived, I know for certain that my, the point that I'm making is that my mother lived in Greece. I was going to say that she moved to Greece and then she moved to California and I was born in California. But the point is that um, my mother was, she would discuss with me and talk to me about how like there would be generations of families like living in the same house. Like they would have estates and they would just live like that. 
like generations they would get married and continue to live like that's what's the i like that is this girl who i used to work with her whole family run a whole block in kalamazoo on hayes park they hold they whole family live on that whole street that's how it's supposed to be what's wrong with man we need to start doing that you need help raising kids you need family you need support network this person who on the phone right now says some wisdom to me about that he said everybody needs to take care of their own family remember when you said that to me Todd? you said that to me before it's important oh i am oh you know what i am you okay i'm about to hang up now and call you you all right write me and tell me you cool i'm about to call you now anyway in a second as soon as i get off but anyway yeah um you know it's just important we got to take care of our families and we need support so if i were to move someplace i would definitely go the route of like going to be closer to where my family is you know it's important i need my family i don't know i'm not the type of person that want to be away from my family i hate that i'm away from my family the way that i am i love my family i want to have a big family i know i'm 36 but i would love to have more and more children and like have a husband and you know us build a family and that is important like you need that i don't know but boom 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 so working as a single mom and see when you do that then you can work cohesively you can work like in a community way so that everybody has roles and we all take care of one another and then work the way that we interpret work it changes you don't work anymore for a living you work for a life and that's sadly what the issue is is that we have started the things that we need to survive and the things that we know that we need to be humans like maslow our maslow needs are not being taken care of and so we find ourselves <laughs> okay good i'll call you back though but we find ourselves being in a situation that we are working to just take care of the things that we need to survive like our housing and our food and things like that and you don't even have a i don't want to live like that i do not want to live like that i want to have a life i want to build a life i want to have fun i'm not i just went to this training to that um i told you i went to that grad nation conference yesterday for the they were trying to deconstruct what the issue was why 52 percent of black boys in kalamazoo um public schools only 52 percent of them graduate on time and they were going through that topic and i said in that group i was like look this is the issue i said my mother has had two open heart surgeries already and this is the fact and she is a federal attorney y'all know that my mom is an attorney that's what moved her up here to michigan and i'm just saying to you all the things that my mother has gone through and i put that on a post too on facebook all the things that my mother has gone through that is not no desire for me to go in and try to assimilate and work under a bureaucracy of a construct of a social construct that has been inherently oppressive to people that look like me there is nothing there is that is where apathy lives that's the reason why you see these little black boys that are saying like dude i'm not doing that i'm not they don't even feel, there's no incentive so we think that we live in an environment and in a culture and in a construct that's integrated and it's not we don't work within the context of an environment that like if you want to be professional like i say this all the time little wayne he, he's the only only in hip-hop only in hip-hop can that brother look like how he looked and be a multi-millionaire unless he got the cure for cancer unless he got something which i mean he has not demonstrated that at this point but usually you got to look and act and assimilate in a certain way if you want to be employable and i didn't want that i don't want that so when we think about employment and we think about graduation and employability and all of those different things is a really it's a hard topic it really is if you guys hey nicole well, them, your baby is so cute i want to get him bring him here <laughs> put him up to the screen right now so i can talk to him put him up there now <laughs> that baby is cute nicole i love him chump ass think a man mm, that's a pumping man hey though hey though i love you let me teach you remy love you so much you're so cute you're so fat why are you so fat why are you so fat why tell me now you are a fat man the pumping man yes you are you are fat okay nicole give him that so he can see me okay anyway <laughs> you're welcome he is so cute you better let him see me talk to him nicole now so he could know me all right but we talking about single moms and working single moms i'm about to get off the phone my mom keep calling me y'all don't have no questions for the single mom <laughs> for the hood mom.com 
um and i gotta call my homie back so i love you guys if you guys have any questions for me hit me up i love you talk to you soon Mwah.